Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man whose ex wanted to work things out because her affair was merely a blip. Let's see how it goes. Yesterday I found out that my wife is having an affair. I calmly confronted her about my suspicions when she came home last night. We've been together for 10 years, married less than one, but as I'm in my early 30s, the relationship and my partner have been a fundamental part of my life for what feels like forever. I was surprised when she confirmed that she was having an affair and was convinced that I was just jealous of her spending time with friends without me. I have been frustrated with my inability to get details. It's been like pulling teeth when it comes to getting the specifics out of her. On one hand, I don't want to know. On the other, as painful as it is, I feel like I have to know. I'm mostly a Reddit lurker, but now that I've been confronted with my wife's affair, I feel incredibly alone, scared, and very uncertain. I have no support network, and my friends have fallen away with time and distance between us. With nowhere really to turn, I just wanted to get this off my chest and ask for advice. What do I do next? What's the right decision, and how do I make it or see it? I've cancelled travel plans with my wife, but she will travel regardless. I'll have almost two weeks to myself, and I intend to focus on myself. Exercise, relax, figure out what I enjoy doing for fun again, and perhaps most importantly, make an effort to reach out and make friends. I need some help through this, as a grown-ass bearded man crying at work is just unseemly this day and age. Edit I used to be an attorney, and we have a solid prenup in place. As to counseling, I think that's a great idea. I have a suspicion that I need to work through things other than the affair as well, like the possibility that I've been depressed for some time. My wife referred to the affair as a short blip and a mistake. Candidly, it would slash will still be going on, but now I'm aware of it. She has shown remorse and acknowledged the pain she has caused. She's also indicated that she wants to work through it. I find it hard to think about doing so right now, still don't think I know everything. And I would have known nothing if I did not confront her. It's hard for me to think about reconciliation at the moment, although I'll need to consider it eventually once this event hits me and I figure out what I want going forward. I'll see if it makes sense. Update. Thank you for all your advice, I didn't expect such a response. A quick update for the interested and those that were kind enough to reach out. Lawyered up. Our prenups are solid. I obtained all the required financial information from my wife and the attorney will be initiating the divorce this week. We've kept our assets separate and we'll both leave with ours. It's a pain that I have to wait 60 days after filing before the divorce can be processed and official. The wife has covered the fees. I think this is fair. I didn't shit the bed and I'm not stressing more than I have to over the process. We live in an apartment, and we will be signing the lease in her name only tomorrow, basically buying me out. I don't feel like I have to move out, but I'm choosing to. I'm in a stronger financial position, and I intend to live in a great place of my choosing, where I want, and on my own terms. This also gives me the chance to Marie Kondo my belongings, and hopefully will allow me to better focus on myself. I'm really planning on treating this as a fresh start. She still will be traveling, I didn't provide all the details, but she's going abroad to spend time with her family. And although I do feel like she should stay if she wants to work through this, that is not what I want to do. I'm okay with getting the time and space I need to recalibrate. The only hiccup is the cat. I got the cat, and I love the shit out of it. The wife loves it too, and honestly, the cat loves her more than me. I don't even know what to do about the cat, but I have some time with the puss to figure it out. I don't hold animosity against the wife to the extent that I'm willing to disrupt the animal's life for worse. Any cat whisperers, feel free to reach out. Once again, thank you everyone. Reading through the messages and the PMs have been therapeutic and beneficial. I'll probably still be reaching out for professional help at some point but I've got my way forward for now. I've made my checklist of things to get done, and if there is one thing I love, it's checking boxes. Very smart of OP to go into the marriage with a prenup. 
At least he can leave with all he went in with and not give up 50% to a lying, cheating, unfaithful woman. She's gonna realize soon enough that grass isn't greener on the other side, and she threw away a decade-long relationship for nothing. At least she did this before Opie had children with her, so the breakup would be clean and even. Comments Jesus, man. I've been with mine 10 years and about to get married. I can't imagine. But hey, at least you figured out you messed up now and you're still young. Probably attractive and have your health. Take some time for you to get back out there on that horse. Maybe watch some inspiring anime like Haikyuu or something. Friends in life will be back rolling into your vicinity like a flood down a mountain. Leave her. You're in your early 30s. It's never too late to take your life by the reins and live it to the fullest. Leaving your cheating wife in the dust. Doesn't sound like you have kids, which is a godsend. Please do not have them with this person. One year into the marriage, she's already cheating. Is this really someone you can trust? Someone you want to be with? The answer is no. You know it's over. Talk to a divorce attorney, prepare yourself, and shore up that skeleton support system you do have. Reach out to an old friend, family, anything. You can do it. We're also here for you anytime you're dealing with something. It seems she's not remorseful. That makes your choice easy. Best way to save your marriage is to take control and make this real for her by filing for divorce. And get off Reddit. The Just Found Out forum on survivinginfidelity.com is the best place to get advice and support. Story 2 I know you guys are all going to hate me, but I need some advice. I'm 24, he's 22. We've been together for about 10 months. Our relationship is somewhat long distance. It's about a three-hour car or bus ride. I see him every other weekend. I've not been feeling great about the relationship. We have not been able to hang out really at all since November, once. And I just found out that I was falling out of love with him. I tried to ignore it because he's a great guy. So I pushed it into the back of my mind. It's nothing he did, or nothing I did. Just wasn't feeling the spark anymore, and I don't like the distance. New Year's Eve. He was unable to come up. He hadn't seen his family in a while, so he wanted to spend it with them. Long story short, I was a drunken idiot and I slept with a good friend of mine. I've never cheated before. And before this incident, I was the type of person that looked down on cheaters. I can't believe I let this happen. I need a few pieces of advice. The first thing is, I know I need to end things. Do I come clean about everything or just tell him I don't love him anymore and spare him the additional heartache of knowing what happened NYE? The second thing is we're in a long distance relationship and I have no way to get to him until the end of January. I feel it's cruel to let him come here and just dump him. Is it acceptable to do over the phone in this case? Did I let this go until the end of January? Did I do it when he comes here? Any advice? I feel horrible. Beyond horrible. He loves me and this is going to kill him. I want to do it in the least cruel way as possible, but I'm not sure if I should lie. Edit. If anyone sees this edit, I have another question. He got me a pretty expensive Christmas gift. $350. Gave it to me on Thanksgiving. Should I return it or offer to return it? One of the major reasons I feel the need to tell him about the cheating is because I don't want him to sit there and beat himself up about what he could have done to keep me. I'm not sure what's worse. I know that when my last boyfriend dumped me, and I did love him a lot, I almost wished he would have just told me he cheated on me or did something horrible so I could just hate him and move on. The fact he just didn't love me anymore made me wonder what I could have done different. I know everyone is different about these things, I've already fucked up beyond belief. My main concern now is just making it as easy for him as possible. Tell him everything. He deserves to know the truth. When you tell him, you're apologetic and obviously you feel terrible about what's transpired. He'll take it much better and not hate you as long as he's reasonable. Let him decide what he will do with his gift. Comments if the majority of your relationship takes place over the phone, then it's probably apropos that it ends over the phone as well. He's going to want to know why you're breaking up with him and your answer is not going to be good enough and it's not going to give him any closure. He'll probably end up telling him what happened just for the clean break. 
Yeah, I personally would tell him because I wouldn't want any of the mental baggage knowing that I cheated and in a screwed up way got away with it. That kind of shit can do no good to you in the long run. I would end it, but make the trip down to him to deliver the news instead of making him drive three hours to get broken up with. Kind of harsh to make that guy drive up all that way to get that news and then have to head all the way back home feeling like crap. My advice to you is to switch places with him. How would you like to be treated in this situation? Personally, I would want to know the truth, including how you feel that you're falling out of love and that you cheated. And I would be really upset if anyone hid that from me to spare my feelings. My philosophy is tell me the truth, no matter what. Most people can take it. However, you should do the best for your personal situation. You think he would like to know everything. How do you think he would like to be treated in this situation? You know him the best, while Reddit does not. I think he should be 100% honest, but that's how I would do it. Do what you think is best.